Hey YouTube, it is Trinity Productions, trinityprosound.com, coming at you again with another video, and we are really excited to bring you this new speaker system from FBT. Um, this has been out a while. Um, we have heard great things about it, um, but finally ended up bringing in a system of uh, four tops and four of the double uh, eight subs. And let me tell you that this CLA 604, and then it is the um, 208A um, subs that go with it. Holy Moses, this thing is absolutely amazing. Um, the output of this thing is just like, for what it is, the size of it, of the columns, the size of the base bins, uh, the subwoofers. Once you start applying some signal to this thing, it just starts absolutely kicking butt. Um, we're going to be doing another video in a venue um, that is close by um, that we're going to go in and set the, uh, the system up, one on each side, uh, and run some tests through it and some audio and uh, maybe do some comparisons with some other uh, speakers that are in our inventory that are similar to what this is, um, but not quite the same. Um, because this does uh, employ um, some high frequency drivers up here as well as you can see down in here the um, the cone um, mid-range low frequency drivers in this cabinet. Um, as far as the um, the specs on this thing we're going to get into that um, but just kind of just to do a uh, an overall of it we'll just kind of rotate the thing here that you can see it. It is a uh, all metal um, housing and as we flip it around here, you can kind of see some of the mounting hardware and then up here we'll get a, a zoom in on this is which is where the connections are done and then the processing and the uh, input sensitivity on the thing but um, this thing weighs in um, just without getting into the specs I'm going to say probably 25 pounds um, for the top boxes um, they snap together and deploy as a single column on the sub uh, or the adapter. You can also get pole mount adapters for them and deploy them. Um, we'll just continue spinning this around here. And um, so they've got pole mount adapters for them. Once you get into deploying them with a couple of subs though, they make some spacers that you can put two, one, two, or three of these. Um, on a system along with three subs. Um, I can tell you just from what we've experimented with in the shop here uh, with the two subs per side and the two tops per side, the thing stands a little over eight feet tall, but the output out of this thing um, is amazing. For doing corporate events, for doing weddings, this also comes in white too for weddings, which is like really sexy. Um, but for doing those type of events where the speakers are just kind of hidden that everybody's wondering where all this audio is coming from, whether you're a DJ, whether it's a corporate event or whether it's a band on a stage or something in, you know, a coffee house or something, these things, the audio output and quality out of this system, um, I'm just, you know, blown away with. Um, so FBT um, with this, um, CLA system has just, for the portability of it and everything, has just got a real winner on their hands. So um, what we're going to do is um, get into the specs on this real quick, and then we'll get in and take this top box apart and show you what's so magical about it, and then we'll end up um, opening up the, uh, the base bin low frequency subwoofer box with the dual eights in it and take a look at that, and then also show you the short adapter that we have um, that we ended up bringing in along with this to complete the package. And um, again, FBT CLA system, absolutely amazing. So the specs on this system, we'll talk about the, the CLA 604A first. Um, it's a two-way box. Um, it does have 400 watts going to the low frequency drivers and then 100 watts going to this high frequency section um, up top. Um, that is RMS power. Um, this top box goes from 130 to 20,000 cycles. Um, it is uh, six drivers, uh, four inch voice coils, and then it's got um, four of the um, one inch drivers that we'll see once we get this open. 
Um, as far as max SPL, um, you're looking at uh, 122 dB um, continuous max SPL. The dispersion on this thing is 100 degrees wide this way by 20 this way. So you get two of them and you've got about a 40 degree um, pattern on the thing. Um, 450 watts, it's got XLR ins, XLR outs, which we'll show you. It's got power con in, power con out, so they've dumped the IEC um, cords on this thing. Um, as far as um, weight is concerned, it's about 20 pounds, um, according to the specs. And then as far as the, um, the height of it, we're looking at about 33 inches, I think is what this is, because they give everything in millimeters and centimeters as well. But um, that is the, the 604, the 208, uh, CLA 208, which is the dual eight um, that goes with this, uh, 208 SA, um, 600 watts RMS, um, does go from 50 to 150. It has two um, eight inch um, drivers in it with two inch voice coils, um, 125 dB max SPL. Um, Let's see, XLR ins and outs. It's also a nice thing about this, though. It's got a link on it that you can just link it up to the next box and then also has a high-pass filter on it that comes out of the back of the subwoofer that you can end up sending it up to the top boxes um, that's got a built-in crossover on the thing as well, which is really pretty cool. Um, as far as weight is concerned, um, out of the box, um, 44 pounds. So it's fairly light. And then they've got a series of covers and things for these um, that you can put over the subs and put over these top boxes to um, protect them for transport and storage and things like that. Um, but they link together really tight, very solid, which we'll show you in a second of how all that works. But um, amazing. The instructions are very good. They tell you how to set things up. They give you examples um, of the systems in here and then also the power requirements that you're going to need. Um, for the number of cabinets you're going to deploy and how many of them you can end up getting on a, uh, a circuit for power. So um, with that said, we're going to go ahead and get this thing opened up and, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, get this thing opened up and take a look on uh, what these drivers are all about and also the construction um, of this box. Um, being that it is all metal, and you can kind of hear it that it doesn't resonate. It doesn't sound like it's um, hollow at all. So it'd be interesting to see what they've got in there um, when we open this up. So here we go. Well, that was interesting, but we got it open. As you can see, the lower drivers here and then the high frequency drivers up here, um, getting the grill off is a little bit of a challenge, but um, it can be done. Um, grill construction, um, probably 18 gauge, um, really pretty solid. The way it fits in here, into the, uh, the box and slides in, um, it's just very tight. It's never gonna come out. So, um, and it protects the speakers quite well that once it's in there, there's a very good solid um, connection that it keeps the rigidity um, of the grill uh, to the speaker box. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and pull some more screws out and open this up, pull this sub-assembly off that has all the speakers on it and get into this FBT CLA-604A. Okay, so we've got the back plane out uh, in the front plane here with the speakers in it. As you can see, um, this is probably one of the most involved disassemblies that I've ever done. They put this thing together with surgical precision that getting this thing apart has been um, quite the challenge. So, but I did it. So, what do they say? Feeling proud. Um, but here are, we'll pull, go ahead and pull one of these drivers out, but here are the one, two, three, four, five, six. They're on uh, two different uh, amplifiers with the two different colors of cord here, and then they've got the little cord for the uh, high frequency drivers kind of hanging out here as well. But they are all mounted on a um, about a 3 8 inch piece of um, multi-ply, and uh, they are all on thread certs, so if the drivers ever need to be replaced, um, as you can see here, that you can end up taking the screws out. A little front view here, taking the screws out here and replacing a driver, and not worrying about stripping this wood um, on the uh, on the assembly. Um, we haven't put all the screws back in yet because we're probably going to have to leave the drivers out to slide this thing back into the uh, the enclosure. <laughs> so we'll lay that down. This is the high frequency assembly here, um, and it is a. Uh, 
molded horn and you can see all of the little high frequency drivers here on the back of the unit and um, they do produce um, quite the output they are looks like they're all mylar dome um, as you can see here um, inside that assembly um, but um, just absolutely amazing um, sound quality out of this thing and the way that these um, drivers all couple together um, quite nice uh, produces a very nice um, almost like a hi-fi type sound um, without having to really say hi-fi but yeah, I think you know what I mean so um, that's the um, the horn assembly and then um, I move this out of the way and get into the um, the case this is a extruded aluminum case and uh, they've done a really nice job with it uh, with the, the way that this is all set up um, you can see that they've got down here um, power in and uh, XLR and then they've got uh, power con out on this end and XLR out that feeds through on this cable here and then this is the SMPS power supply that is down through the center here and then this is the amplifier assembly um, that they have done and it's all um, just mounted on the back of it uh, that uses the amplifier with the uh, the semiconductors uses the back of this as a heat sink and, uh, and then they've also got it uh, isolated on some foam with uh, the little standoffs that they've got it mounted in as well but when this thing is together um, you can hear the metal of it now but when this thing is together you don't hear any of that kind of echoey or, or you know hollow sound to it um, whatsoever um, on the input side of things if you look down that end of it there, it's got the power con and the XLR in. And then we flip the thing around. And we've got power con out and XLR out as well. Um, on the back of the unit, there's really not much to it. Um, what we've got here, and we'll just slide this thing down. But as you can see, we've got a input gain setting. We do have a... Um, liner mic source we do have high pass filter on it as well and then there are a couple of preset settings as far as how many tops um, that this is uh, as far as the satellites is concerned of how many that the system is going to be deployed with and you set those and you are off and running um, but the thing is um, very well engineered um, got fuzz on this here um, with the way that this thing has gone together and the modularity of it, um, should there ever be a problem? Um, probably not with the way that they have assembled this. I can guarantee you they don't anticipate any issues or problems whatsoever. Um, but should there be, everything's modular. So it's just a piece out, piece in, and um, get it back to you and you're up and running. So. Um, we're going to go ahead and um, get this thing buttoned back up, but that's the inside of the uh, FBT um, 604 CLA speaker. Um, again, there's the inside of it. Um, nothing really sexy, but the dang thing works, and it works very well. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pull one driver off um, for these little low-frequency um, acoustic suspension drivers. And we'll show you that real quick, and then we'll get this thing buttoned up and get into the uh, the double eight um, base bin and uh, show you that. So we've got one of the uh, the four inch transducers pulled, and um, ceramic magnet. Um, it is a stamped frame, little acoustic suspension um, driver. Um, it is a 16 ohm driver, so they couple all these together and uh, end up feeding it that it's you know about six ohms um, load to the uh, to the amplifier um, but very nice little speaker um, amazing that they can get the amount of sound out of these little guys um, when they're all coupled together that they do um, one of the nice things that I wanted to kind of bring to your attention is the base plate assemblies that they have um, with these locking screws so what these things do when they lock together um, and they've got a little rubber foot on them that helps really tighten the things up and then they also um, have the ability and we'll show you here in a second that they can rotate um, when they're on top of each other but these guys just go in and slide in and then once the speakers lock in um, 
they end up mounting and, and doing a really nice job of locking together. And then there's a pin assembly that goes here and locks that in. The nice thing about this though is that as you can see here with the whole assembly, you can rotate this thing off, I believe it's 15 degrees on each side um, of, the, uh, of the speaker so that you can set the bottom box straight up and down and if you needed to you can end up splaying the top box out a few degrees or in a few degrees to get coverage which is an excellent idea rather than have everything face forward that you can kind of cover your audience down front with something straight out and maybe do some side filling or if your audience is wider like in a corporate event or something you can turn it to the side and um, get some really nice coverage with these boxes with these um, these special plates on them so um, very ingenious idea and um, with the rubber that they've got on them they just you know, lock together and provide a really nice firm fit um, for the uh, for the column line arrays so um, we're going to go ahead and get things back together um, on the back of the assembly which I pulled off there is the brackets here that you can see that these things um, will slide over the subs um, or they can end up um, I think there's some wall mount brackets that these things slide over as well and then like we said earlier there is a uh, pole mount speaker pole mount bracket um, that you can position these on um, as well and um, just a lot of versatility to them as far as deployment. You don't have to use them with the subwoofer, so you can use them for a corporate event or a meeting room where you've got a bunch of people in and you can set one up, either plug a microphone directly into it or a small mixer. It's got the mic line capabilities on it. So very, very versatile um, and slim um, that you can go in and it's not this big, ugly speaker. Um, and especially good for um, for corporate or business uh, events as well. So that's it, the um, CLA 604 from FBT, and uh, we're going to get right into the uh, the 208 subwoofer. So here is the horn assembly prior to getting mounted back in the uh, the enclosure, but all of the drivers are just in a series parallel configuration: um, negative down this side, positive down that side. And then there's just a wiring harness that goes back in and plugs in on the board and everything works that way. This guy just slips down in here and mounts to the uh, 3 8 plywood um, inside the, uh, the enclosure. And then everything gets screwed back in physically into the enclosure. But just with um, putting the wooden back plate in it, um, as you can see here, that um, it's really, you can hear just the difference it's made in tapping the enclosure. Um, of how solid uh, of the construction this thing is with this um, extruded aluminum um, enclosure on the uh, on the CLA. Okay, before we get into the subwoofer here, I wanted to also mention about the spacers that they have um, for this system. They've got this one um, that uh, will clamp onto the front of um, two subs and space the column up above the top of the subs, and then they've got one that will clamp on to three subs and get the columns up on way up on top of the, the three subs. But the thing that's nice about this is that it goes on to the front of the assembly and then this top part up here would latch on to the upper sub. Um, but it locks everything on and then the speakers lock onto that and provides a nice um, platform to build this whole um, CLA system off of. So um, really good idea and uh, it's just blank it's a dummy but all the same type of construction and um, you can just see on the back here the locking plates and the speakers have those as well um, on them but they just lock on and uh, if you're sitting it on the floor the thing provides a really nice um, solid mount um, so options and accessories for the um, for the system so we've already gone over the specs of the sub um, this is it, the two 8-inch drivers, and uh, as we spin this thing, it's got a couple of handles on the sides, as you can see there. It is wood construction. Uh, it has a M20 um, socket in the top of it there for um, pole mounting. And then here's the back of it um, that uh, has all the connections on it, uh, power con in, power con out, um, input, um, DSP settings on it, 
and then there is the inputs, there is links, and then there is uh, high pass filter outputs on it as well um, so that uh, it'll end up doing it all of the crossover and everything on it um, all by itself. So um, just settings to set the crossover for just a more full range or what they call punch. Um, but I can tell you that the punch works very, very well with these guys. So um, we're going to go ahead and get this pulled apart and uh, take a look at the inside of this um, the Virtus uh, CLA uh, 208 and um, get this uh, opened up. So there we've got the grill off and you can see the drivers exposed. Um, again, um, probably 18 gauge um, steel. And then the, um, the little mounts uh, for that that hold everything on, these bolts that clip the assembly on, um, go right in the front there and provide a really solid mount to the front of this for that uh, spacer or from some, for some of the speakers. So um, but there's the two little uh, eight inch drivers. Kind of looks like a bug, um, but um, it is um, ported, vented, and um, like I said, handles on the side. And so solid wood construction, M20 um, threaded adapter on the top. We're gonna go ahead and get uh, some drivers pulled and uh, see what's inside this thing and see what those drivers look like and what makes this thing so awesome for a subwoofer that's got two 8-inch drivers in it. Well, boys and girls, here is the entire reason why this cabinet sounds the way it does. Um, nice, large um, ceramic magnets on these. Um, they are um, four-ohm drivers. Um, they are wired in series, so they're presenting an 8-ohm load to the amplifier. Um, not long excursion though, but very tight. That's why it's so punchy that it is. But um, I think this has a two or a two and a half inch voice coil on this speaker. Um, stamp basket. And, um, but the magnet assembly on this thing is just absolutely phenomenal, which gives it the, uh, the acoustical properties and the punchiness and uh, probably with the voice coil size it is, the power handling that this thing can do. So there's two of those in that, that cabinet. Um, those guys weigh about six, seven pounds a piece. One of the things now that I want to show you is inside here, what they've done is they have, and you can beat on this thing and it, you're not hearing any resonance in it, but um, leads are coming out of the amplifier, but they have taken this uh, foam uh, kind of egg crate foam on the inside of this thing and have coated it on the back, the bottom, the top, and the sides so that uh, there is um, none to little resonance um, out of that box. So as you can see as we turn it here, you can see the, the foam in the back. I'm going to turn it up there and down the sides and everything. Um, and then also just the, uh, the, the construction of it with the, um, the porting, uh, the vents and everything on it that they have. But um, very good solid construction with the speakers out. Still the amplifier on it. Um, still probably close to 20 pounds. Um, we're going to go ahead and see if we can't get the amplifier pulled out um, and show you what that looks like. And um, as we found with the column line array, um, what they're able to do these days with uh, the switch mode power supplies and the electronics. Um, power amplifiers with the wattage that they're getting out of these things are just getting smaller and smaller and um, not developing as great of a heat load um, as you would imagine in days past. But um, there is no fans on this, at least it doesn't appear. It looks like it's all convection cooled. We'll get into it and find out here in a moment. But um, that is the, uh, the CLA 208 um, Dual 8 subwoofer from FBT. Okay. So we've got the amplifier assembly pulled, um, no fans, all convection cooled. Um, as you can see down this side, we have got the uh, SMPS power supply. Um, and that is up on uh, just uh, standoff brackets off the uh, aluminum heatsink. And then on this side, we have got the processing um, on here and then also um, up at this Top corner up here, we've got the power amplifier. Um, and then uh, also uh, with the DSP is down there on the other end where all of the input and output connectors are and the volume control. You really can't see too well up inside there. This whole amplifier assembly, circuit board and everything, less than five pounds. So um, 
gosh, it's just super duper light. So um, everything is on. Again, it's all modular. So should something ever happen, it's just a matter of um, replacing components or just replacing the whole amplifier and popping it back in the cabinet and off you go. Same with the speaker drivers. So um, should there ever be an issue with anything, very quick to get you back up and running. Um, as I've said in some of our other videos that we've even done some troubleshooting um, over the telephone and we'll get um, the various manufacturers to just shoot out parts, um, shoot out a new assembly board, you shoot the other one back to us or back to them and they shoot it back, same thing with drivers as long as we're all under warranty. Do not forget to register your product for warranty. So very, very important um, whether you buy it from us, which we hope you do, or buy it from somebody else. Um, Take care and do the warranty thing. Um, it'll save you a lot of heartache uh, coming out the other end. So um, that is the um, 208 subwoofer cabinet assembly. Um, it does have some rubber feet on the bottom, as you can see there. And um, we are going to be doing a, uh, another video again, like I said earlier, with this setup and operating um, at a local venue. We may end up doing some outdoor stuff with it as well um, in a stereo configuration. Um, out in the parking lot, but um, first impressions with this thing, um, it's going to be absolutely amazing, especially like for corporate work and things. Um, somebody wants to rent a small little powerful sound system that has just got fantastic coverage, really low sight lines, can put it on each side of the stage and not detract away from um, the corporate or pro environment. Um, this system it will just kill everybody. They'll just wonder where all the wonderful sounds coming from. DJ applications, small wedding applications, you do it in the white, um, really look really sexy. So um, there you have it. Um, FBT, we're going to be doing some more FBT videos. They've got a full range of product. As you can see, they've got line arrays, they've got trap boxes, they've got some of the injection molded boxes, active. They do have passive as well. Um, so just kind of depending on what your fancy is, so to speak, of whether you go active or passive, um, they've got pretty much everything to meet it. They've got some new subwoofers, and I am sure as we are doing this video prior to the Winter NAM 2016, um, they are going to have some new product at the NAM show, which we'll hopefully have a video for as well. So um, that's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by the YouTube channel. Thank you to all of our faithful subscribers. Um, we're over 4,500 subscribers now on the channel and uh, over 2.5 million channel views. So again, thank you. Thank you for watching. I hope some of this helps uh, in your decisions in purchasing speakers, um, whether it is the FBT or some of the other lines that we carry. Um, if you have any questions, email us. Um, there's a link to a uh, email. It's info at trinityprosound.com or you can give us a call, uh, 209-832-8023. If you're in Northern California, man, swing on by. We'd love to meet you and uh, can demo uh, what we have in stock, um, whether it's FBT or some of the other manufacturers. Um, we are dealers for FBT and about 45 other pro audio lines. So um, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. Trinity Productions, trinityprosound.com.